Raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by a tarot reading. Raise your hand if you've ever watched a tarot reading about somebody that you weren't even dating. And raise your hand if you've ever watched more than one tarot reading in one day. So now that we're all on the same page, you guys, a welcome to my channel. My name is India L. If you're new here, if you're a returning Sevi, hey girly. This is a little bit of a different kind of video for my channel, but look forward to more content like this because I have a lot of stuff on my mind, a lot of stuff to say. And the first thing that I want to cover in this new year is what the title says. Why I stopped watching tarot videos, period. So before I get into why I stopped watching tarot this year and why you should stop too, let me walk you through my relationship with my girl tarot or tarot or however you want to call her. Back in 2015 is when I bought my first pair of tarot cards. I got my first pair of tarot cards from Barnes and Noble and I can't remember what the brand was, but I actually still have them to this day. I just haven't, you know, pulled them out. I'm taking a very long break. It was all very innocent. Honestly, I just wanted to tap into my intuition. I've always been a very like spiritually based person and I just was using it to kind of communicate with my higher self, etc, etc, etc. This was before YouTube was a huge thing when it came to tarot, right? At the time, it was like ruled by the beauty gurus. So that's what I was really watching on YouTube was the beauty stuff like Jackie Ina, all those girls. Fast forward to 2018, 2019, after a few breakups, etc, dating, things that just take you under. You guys, I know you guys can relate. I was on Twitter at the time and one of the tarot girls that I followed on Twitter I wasn't really into it at that point like watching tarot videos or anything even though they were on Twitter I mean they were on YouTube um, she actually posted a video on YouTube which was a tarot reading so I went to go watch it and of course when you start watching tarot videos YouTube starts to recommend them to you so you know how it is like the clickbaity titles and stuff like this and not to take anything away from the tarot readers I honestly know that a lot of tarot readers are legit, so this is nothing to take away from them. This is just my personal experience with tarot and why I stopped watching it personally to me. At first, it was just one here and there, things would pop up, and then I just started to notice that they started to come more on my dashboard. And the type of person that I am, I always am experiencing synchronicities in my life. So I saw it as, okay, I'm supposed to see this, right? I'm sure you can relate, like, I'm supposed to see this, especially if you're a very spiritual person like I am. So, you know, one video turned into, like one tarot reader that I subscribed to turned into like 10 of them, right? They were all accurate in their own ways, right? But then like as the years go by, I started to notice that it became like a larger, it just became, it began to blow up on YouTube. So I started to see the pick a card readings, the pick a pal readings, you know, you got the DMDF readings. It's just so many versions of tarot, like, and a lot of it is relationship and love base so I really got caught in that cycle of basically like thinking about my the person that I was in love with at the time and then like seeing a video and then wanting to know what they were thinking mind you we weren't even in contact we weren't even talking girl like obsessed much right like so obsessed so I just was like watching these videos just trying just trying to get over it but still like low-key like spiraling right and so fast forward to 2021 2022 no actually you know what 2020 the pandemic right i started to kind of slowly unfollow certain readers because they didn't resonate with me anymore and then fast forward to 2022 i have completely really stopped watching tarot videos okay and i have a lot of lists, a laundry list as to why I stopped watching tarot videos and why you should too. So let's get into it. <sighs> this is just, it's just so crazy how we can spiral into that wormhole of tarot. And as a disclaimer, I will say this. There's nothing wrong with tarot. There's nothing evil about it. It's not really about that. This is about me. This is about you. This is about your mind. This is about your life, your real life that takes place outside of a computer screen. Okay. So that is the basis of this conversation. Okay. Tarot can be used as a spiritual tool, but you know, allowing it to dictate your life is we can, it can easily turn into just an obsession. Okay. So that's really my first point. Once you start to do something to the point where you can't go a day without it, you need to go a day without it. This goes for anything. This goes for a person. This goes for like alcohol, weed, coffee even. This goes for anything. Anything that you can get addicted to, you've got to learn how to break habits and only maintain habits that are truly 
good for you that are like it's a it's really a good habit to have to drink a certain amount of water a day so doing that every day you know that's helping you that's not harming you but being you know sedentary and watching videos playing video games drinking all those different things that are just non-productive like you gotta cut that off it doesn't matter how much of a temporary dopamine fix that it gives you you gotta cut it off also another piece of that point is that when you become so dependent on something that you become crippled by it to the point where you're scared to make a decision without consulting Tara. you're scared to text anybody call anybody do anything you're scared to even live life without consulting tarot first that is a problem that's a form of like psychosis that's that's a mental health issue you should never be so dependent on something that it cripples your ability to do anything and i honestly think that watching tarot like obsessively watching tarot probably i'm not gonna say what i was gonna say i just i i definitely think it can lead to some mental health issues especially when you are obsessing over somebody that is not even in your life right now okay i'm gonna make a whole separate video about that but let's focus on the tarot right now next reason why i stopped watching tarot and why you should too most people come to tarot because they are spiritually based you know they're really tapped in with their higher self or they want to be if they're into angel numbers synchronicities and all, all of those things right and there's nothing wrong with that but the whole basis like the foundation of spirituality is to be able to go within okay that is the basis of spiritual growth is to be able to learn how to go within and to tune into yourself to be able to be guided by yourself in a very divine way and so when you become so obsessed with the tools whether it's tarot whether it's crystals whether it's even like a guru whether it's like um going to someone for akashic record readings or whatever it is when you do that too much you don't give yourself the chance to actually develop to develop your spiritual skills you don't give yourself a chance to develop your intuition you don't get a chance to develop into your own inner knowing every human being has an inner knowing we have our own guidance system we're actually very efficient we're very sufficient when we believe ourselves to be we can be very sufficient and we can be very you know tuned in tapped in turned on and in alignment when we practice that but the more that you look outside of yourself to be able to understand how to do this the more that you take away from yourself so it doesn't really matter what it is in spirituality or even religion the more you seek things outside of yourself the harder it gets to kind of tune in with yourself and another reason why I stopped watching tarot, which is why I think I've actually seen a lot of people talk about this on all the social media platforms, was that it seems like tarot readers are all saying the same thing, right? But here's the thing, here's the thing, here's what I really, really believe. The reality is, is that the majority of us go through the same things. This is why the readings, I'm not, I'm not in my mind, I'm not thinking that tarot readers are really trying to like purposely craft messages and because I've read tarot I do understand how to read tarot so when I'm looking at when I was looking at the tarot readings and I'm seeing the cards that are coming out and they're coming out randomly and they're reading them and they're channeling and all that stuff it's not like it's it's not like they're making stuff up in their head it's actually coming out because we're actually all going through the same things okay and the only way to stop going through the same cycles and the same bullshit that you've been going through is to actually focus on yourself to focus on healing yourself to focus on becoming a better person becoming a better communicator becoming a better chooser when it comes to dating becoming a better person becoming better in your career becoming a person who knows how to have skills a person that knows how to be consistent a person that knows how to be disciplined there are too many other things that we need to be focusing on you know creating within ourselves than to be sitting and watching tarot videos to try and to explain to you your feelings you already know how you feel especially if you're in a situation with a person or you have you've been through a breakup or you're not in contact with somebody but you really love them the best thing for you to do is to focus on yourself i'm also going to make a video with how about how to get over heartbreak i promise you i'm going to make a video about that how to get over heartbreak because I feel like all of the advice online, besides a couple people that I really, really like, 
it's just very um, surface level and it doesn't really address the core issues of why you're feeling the way you are in a heartbreak situation or in like a no contact type of situation. So if you're in these type of situations, the worst thing you can do is to binge tarot. That's the worst thing you can do because why are you so obsessed with what they're doing? You need to be focused on what's going on inside of here and processing your emotions. Sometimes the more that you focus outward, the less that you're able to process your emotions and to actually get over it. So you end up becoming triggered over and over and over and over and over again. So it's not the tarot readers. They're just reading what's going on in the collective, what's going on with us. And a lot of us go through the same stuff. The only way to stop going through the same stuff is to level up, okay? It's to level up, period. And the very last reason why I stopped watching tarot is because guess what? You and I are more powerful than any deck of cards, okay? You can determine your reality. You can do, you can be, you can have anything that you want. You are truly limitless. Tarot can limit you. Okay, tarot is a tool, it's not perfect. Your design as a person is perfect. Your brain, the way your body functions, the way your heart and your brain work in sync, that is perfect. How can someone as perfect as you believe that your life is just destined to be average? You don't have to be average. You don't have to keep going through the same stuff. You don't have to keep going to the same people. You don't have to be keep you don't have to keep being treated the same way. Once you get this through your head, you will realize, especially if you're a spiritual person. Because I had to learn this. I had to learn this and no judgment to anybody because guess what? This life is about a learning process. We're all growing, we're all evolving. There's nothing wrong with falling off sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I am telling you is that when you're a spiritual person, you have to take accountability. You have to take accountability and stop placing the blame on everybody else because another thing that tarot does is that it makes you focus on, on the reasons why. Who cares about the reasons why? It already happened, sis. Let it go and push forward. Period. So that is why I stopped watching tarot and why you should stop watching tarot too. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.